Below the color boxes is a very powerful selection feature, Edit and Quick Mask Mode. I use it when I need to create a precise selection and all the selection tools failed. To use, click on the icon to enter the Quick Mask Mode. Make sure the foreground and background colors are shown as black and white, respectively. If the foreground color shows in the shade of gray, like mine, click on the default color icon to set it to black. Then choose Pencil or Brush Tool from the toolbox and paint over the desired area. By default, Quick Mask uses transparent red to represent masked area. Adjust your brush or pencil settings if necessary, or switch between the tools. Use Zoom tool to zoom in for pixels precision, and Grab tool to navigate around your image. Don't forget to go back to Pencil or Brush tool and continue to paint until all the areas that you want to be selected are masked. You can also press Spacebar for the Grab tool. To erase mask from unwanted areas, switch foreground and background colors to set white as a foreground and paint over the unwanted masked areas to delete. Switch foreground and background colors again to continue masking. Use the right click for the pencil or brush option window to adjust the size. When you are zoomed in so much, it is impossible to see overall results. This is when the new window option in the window menu comes handy. Let's open it up. Go to Window, Arrange, New Window. So now we have two identical files. One of them we are going to use as the preview. Both files are linked to each other, so any changes that I'll make on one file will be reflected in the preview. Now we'll go back to the zoomed in mode and continue masking. You could see the changes are showing in both windows. When you are done, click on the Quick Mask icon to exit the mode, and Adobe Photoshop will convert your Quick Mask into the selection. If you click on the Quick Mask again, Adobe Photoshop will convert the selection back into mask. This is a very handy feature available with any selection. For example, you can start the selection with a regular selection tool and modify them in the Quick Mask mode, which can save a lot of time. In addition, mask can be saved with file for the future use. To set the Quick Mask preferences, double-click on the icon to access option window. You can choose between masked or selected areas. Masked area option will convert into selection part of the image that wasn't masked. Selected area option, the one that I used, will convert into the selection masked part of the image. Don't stress out if you forgot to make proper settings. You can always inverse the selection in the Selection pull-down menu. Select Inverse. And finally, you can change mask color and opacity. That option will have no effect on the selection. I only use it to change mask color to ensure the contrast between my artwork and mask for better visuals. And finally, the last icon in the toolbox, Change Screen Mode. It does the same job as Screen Mode in the View menu, but has easier access. And as I've mentioned before, I prefer to work in the standard screen mode that allows me to see all my open files. That concludes the toolbox segment.